let's understand something. Although I may sound like it's a joke, when I told all of you about the $400 billion lawsuit, comma, that I had it, I mentioned to some of you that I was bringing a lawsuit, class action, with reference to our clients, and we're going to let people join that back in 2012. And surely, but certainly, they took me out of commission for four and a half years to put Kamala Harris and this so-called, um, no, it was Kamala Harris and someone else. They had Kamala Harris being the, the champion of the settlement with the banks of $23,000, which none of you got to see a penny of it, okay? And took my quiet time lawsuit and just ignored the fact that I brought the claim. Well, this ain't a quiet time lawsuit. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm about to say something that wouldn't have been kosher. This ain't a quiet time lawsuit. This is just a lawsuit. I just filed a lawsuit on behalf of my client. Why? Because I figured out how I can represent people in court. That's right. You heard me say it. Without anybody being able to say something about it. Would you like to know how I do it? Well, as a sole proprietor, representing the sole proprietor organization, I established non-binding contracts with my clients where they give me limited power of attorney. Well, as a sole proprietor, only I can speak on behalf of the corporation See, I don't have to have a lawyer to be a sole proprietor, and I can enter into any contract I want with any party. So I can enter into a contract with my client where they give me power of attorney, and I create other agreements that are inclusion, adhesion agreements that have conditional acceptances and arbitration agreements attached to it. Ta-da. When I tell you I've been doing this for a while, I've been doing this for a while. It took me 20 years to figure that out right there. 20 years because I'm the presumption killer. I had to make sure that they couldn't figure out a way around it. They're going to try, but try as they might. It ain't going to work like that. Not today, not tomorrow, not even next year. Ladies and gentlemen, a, a plane just fell out of the sky a couple of days ago in Brazil. So 68 people died, eight of them doctors. These doctors were going to a convention. They were going to talk about certain things. Apparently, these doctors are going to talk about certain things that the powers don't, that the powers, the powers that be don't want y'all to know about. Well, them doctors can't talk about it no more because they went up and spoke. So this ain't a game, ladies and gentlemen. All those doctors were doing was revealing what was going on. Okay, right after I documented <laughs> the default. Y'all know everything that's been going on, okay? The case is filed, but the problem is, take me out. There are 300-some-odd more people who are part of this lawsuit. Go ahead, take, take me out. If I don't remember, okay, take me out. No, I don't believe that they're going to be taking anybody out um, like they did the doctors. You see... Let's just say that there's a lot of catch-22s in that complaint. All you got to do is read it. You'll see all the catch-22s. People are talking about numerical errors. If you guys only understood that I wasn't worried about the words. I was worried about the structure, the catch-22s. There are a lot of catch-22s. Here, let's see the Federal Reserve and the uh, United States, quote-unquote, Attorney General's office come in and tell the Honor, Your Honor, this is bull. This, this stuff ain't, no, no, we got to kick it out, Your Honor. Excuse me. Uh, you know better. You know that as long as there's a bona fide controversy, and they just proved that there's a bona fide controversy, that you cannot kick it out summarily. Okay, I just want to make sure you, you knew that, because I knew it. So why are they saying it? Well, what are they, who are they trying to, who are they trying to impress? Okay, no, no problem. Okay, those are the facts cannot dismiss the matter if there's a bona fide controversy. Now, they can't challenge the debt because, remember, we're, we're documenting the debt, 1099Cs. So they can't challenge the debt because the moment they challenge the debt, they 
verify the debt. The moment they challenge the debt, pay attention, they authenticate. They rubber stamp, and then they stamp, and then they seal it in stone. That's right. Because if they say there is no debt, then they automatically prove that there is. If they say there isn't a debt, then they automatically prove that there is. If they say, Your Honor, we owe them something, but we don't owe them that much, then they automatically, it's a catch-22 situation I put them in. Like I said, bring it. Now, mind you, let's make sure you guys understand. Uh, the majority of you are part of the lawsuit. So guess what they can't do? Have a media blackout. Stop someone from telling his group. Oh, of course I can use video. Oh, no, no, I have osteoarthritis. Make accommodations for me. I have skeletal osteoarthritis. Arthritis. Matter of fact, and I'm not joking, my fingers today, a lot of pain. The knuckles. And Lord have mercy. It, it hasn't been happening, but there's been a change in the weather as of today. It was 78 degrees in my home, and I had on a jacket because I was freezing. I told you I can't adjust my body temperature. So in one part of the house, like right now it's 84 degrees over by the air conditioner, but it's 90 degrees over by the desk where I'm sitting. Okay, and I'm not hot. I don't want to turn the air conditioning on because I'm still got some little chills. You know what I mean, Vern? So, but don't worry about that. That's from the operation. I can't regulate my body temperature like the rest of you. So I'm okay. I'm not in any distress or anything like that. So y'all just be, you be cool, okay? All right, thank you. All right, back to the conversation, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the last video talking about the in-clearing checking. It's associated with the Clearinghouse Corporation because a lot of banks operate as Clearinghouse Corporation. In-clearing clearing checking. Okay. That's the complete phrase. There are other phrases that go that sound similar, does almost the same thing. That's what y'all need to be looking at, because that's proof that man, you don't owe them a, you don't owe them nothing. Okay, but go take a look at the video. Hey, have a good day. I just wanted to let y'all know everything is fine, but it ain't a game. So just keep that in mind. Take care of yourselves. Arriva, thirty. Adios.